Hi students, in this session we are going to see once again the time shifting in continuous and discrete domains. So we have already seen that how the time shifting will happen in for unit step function and for unit ramp function. So now let's see some few more functions in time domain, in continuous time domain as well as in discrete time domain. So by considering a function, so x take a function x of t. I'm taking again the known example only from minus 1 to 0 it is 1 again 0 to 1 sorry again 0 to 1 it will be 1 after that it is changed to like this we have already discussed this function so this is x of t now I want x of t minus 4 operation and x of t plus 4 operation for this. So first x of t minus 4 means already we know that t minus 4 means it will shift to the right by 4 units. It is as simple as that it will shift to the right by 4 units. That means every time scale will shift to the by 4 minus 1 plus 4, 0 plus 4, 1 plus 4, 2 plus 4 like that. So first you just draw the axis so minus 1 plus 4 will gives you 3 and 0 plus 4 will gives you 4 and 1 plus 4 will gives you 5 2 plus 4 will gives you 6 so 3 4 5 6 so here the lower limit is minus 1 that is shifted to 3 here the upper limit is 2 here it is 6 so remaining will be same the graph shape will be look same only like this. The magnitude does not change anything. It is 2 and it is 1. Just the time axis will be shifted. And coming to x of, this is x of t minus 4. So let's see now x of t plus 4. It will be same. But instead of shifting time domain to right axis, we will shift by left. That means minus 1, minus 4, 0, minus 4, 1, minus 4, 2, minus 4. So minus 1, minus 4, minus 5. 0, minus 4, minus 4. 1, minus 4, minus 3. 2, minus 4, minus 2. So like this it will be. So we have shifted minus 1 to minus 5. So we have to start the graph from minus 5. So don't get confused that. So here the lower limit is minus 1. That lower limit is changed as minus 5. Here the upper limit is 2. That low upper limit is changed to minus 2. So the graph should start from here onwards. So this is about the time shifting in continuous domain. So consider one discrete function x of n. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. This is the given function. So for this let's do x of n plus 3. So n plus 3 means it should be shifted to left by 3 units. So we know that previously the limits 0 li n lies between 0 to 5. Now your new limit n plus 3 should also lies between 0 to 5 so that n should lies between minus 3 to 2. So now your new limit is this one. Minus 3 less so 0 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 5. So the, this is your new limits for n x of 
n plus 3 is equals to minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. These are the units. So at minus 3, your top will be there. This is 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. So your lower limit is here now, minus 3. That lower limit value should come at minus 3. So this is about the shifting operations in discrete and continuous domain.